Hey guys, Ghani Adams, the Ari Orna Kankafu, has reportedly alleged that Yoruba Nation activist Sunday Adeyomo, aka Sunday Ibu, was being sponsored by Tayo Akin Akinde. Who is Tayo Akinde? The chief of staff to Governor Babajide Tanwulu to assassinate him, really. <laughs> In a voice allegedly recorded by the Generalissimo, Adams reportedly indicted President Bola Tinubu as one sending a kinde to eliminate him. However, in pre-action letters by lawyers to Akinde the Anibu, they demanded that Adams should withdraw the allegation. However, Adams said no comment on the issue when contacted to react to the allegation currently making waves. They say, Wahala, you know the finish. Ghani Adams, the Ari Ona Kankafo, has allegedly said to have accused the self uh, Yoruba nation activist Sunday Adeyomo, popularly referred to as Sunday Boo. I collected 45 million naira from Governor. Babajide Sanwulu, the chief of staff, COA style. In a report by Punch, the Yoruba Generalissimo alleged that Akinde was working for Tinubu to eliminate him and that they, are, they had concluded plans with Sunday Ibu to take his life. According to the Punch, Ghani Adams neither denied nor confirmed the claim when contacted but said no comment on that no comment however in a separate pre pre action letters the lawyers to akinde and ibu demanded that adams would draw the claimed assassination move against them or prepare for legal action akinde's lawyer adeiki olamide san in a pre action letter dated march 20 2024 Ask the Ari Honor Kankafu to withdraw the allegation without the need from his client side to press your father on the subject. Olami Day maintained that there was a need for the pre action letter because of what was contained in the press statement issued by Sunday Ibu, which is titled, I did not take part in killing Chibola Ige. He went further to describe the statement of the allegation of Adams as a move to injure his client's character. He demanded that Ari Honor Kankafu retreat the statement immediately. Legit NG earlier reported that Sonny Bowie returned to Nigeria after spending three years in exile. Bowie had left the country when the DSS attacked his home in a bid to arrest him following its nationwide campaign for Yoruba Nation independence. The Oyo-born activist was reported to have returned to the country on Tuesday, on Thursday, 2021, when he left the country. Nigerians, they say Wahala in not a finish. Hmm. They say Wahala in not a finish. In another news headline, the Iba Ghani Adams has warned against what he termed as deliberate efforts by some individuals to drag his name in the mud, saying the silence should not be taken for cowardness. Iba Ghani Adams, while speaking on the controversy generated by an alleged audio clip, said he was ready to set the record straight on the various questions hanging in the balance on the alleged deformation contained in the clips. The Yoruba Generalissimo, in a statement by his uh, special assistant on media, Kainde Aderemi, said the ongoing legal infraction by both Sunday Adeyomo Ibu and the chief of staff to the Lagos State uh, Governor, Mr. Tayo Akinde, was a grand conspiracy to discredit his person and he was ready to do everything to protect his hard-earned name and his office he represents. 
He said his reaction became pertinent as it has become evident that those involved Ibuwu and Akinde are not ready to toe the line of peace as initiated by the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty Oba Adeyei. The reason for my silence in the midst of the various legal and media infractions by Ibu and Akinde was not because I am a coward, but because of the initial interventions of the Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyei, other prominent Obas, and several other important personalities in Yoruba land. But with the ongoing lies and aspirations against my person, I think it is time for me to come out open and set the record straight. Though my legal, my legal team had done what was required of them, I need to state it clearly that the audio clip generating the whatever was a dotted and disjointed content of a private conversation which had way back in 2021 with a US-based younger brother of a friend. The conversation was initiated by the young man who claimed he wanted a reconciliation between myself, Ibu, and some other people. It was while responding on reasons for reconciliation at the time that he mentioned the names of two people. So guys, you've all heard it now, as you can see, it seems that there is fire on the mountain, okay, on this. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Eh? What's your take? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. If you're just joining us, I beg subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.